One of the other um, uh, revivals that we developed, and this one is quite controversial, it was the heart revival. Now, we didn't do that because we stopped people's hearts, although some people have been reported, even EMTs in, in emergency situations, to use this to restart from heart attack. But it's not what we have done. We've never stopped hearts to restart them, okay? But what happens is you have such a constriction in the chest, okay, that we have to release this somewhat. Now, the, the technique, if you could turn to, if you remember from the first DVD, was on the bladder 13, 14, and 15 is the most important point for this heart revival. It's right where the scapula ends, and midway between the spine and the scapula itself, there's a pressure point that when you push up and in, it, it causes a little pain, but when you strike it, it sends an electrical shock through the chest. Okay? So, one of the ways we found this is a, a very sensitive uh, pressure point on the nipples. It's called stomach 17. In fact, in acupuncture, it's one of the forbidden points. Okay, why it's forbidden, nobody really says, but if it's forbidden uh, for a needle, we figured, okay, we might as well test it with striking to see if it's a good viable target, and it is quite efficient. All right, by striking into the nipples at a 45 degree angle toward the center of the chest, you can cause a lot of dysfunction. You can see how the body folded up into a fetal position. You okay? Yeah. You with me? <coughs> I'm good. Now why I'm tapping him over here is he's coughing just a little bit as well. <coughs> but if you rewind the tape, I'm sure you're going to find that he did not fall down. He jumped up into the fetal position and fell out of that position. All right? So I'm going to ask you to just turn. Keep, stay seated. But just turn and, and explain what happened. You hit, everything just went, went dark. Where'd you feel it? Right in the center. Okay. Everything just, I know I, I felt that closing in. It didn't feel good. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look like it, it didn't sound good either. Okay, but what happened is you saw his body contract into that fetal position as I mentioned, but when I struck him on the back, you saw his body flail open as almost a yin-yang uh, directive. It just did the reverse of what I did in the beginning to close it down. And that's how we went about uh, calling this the heart revival for a better way of um, saying it. I mean, saying the chest constriction revival, uh, it's a little termy. So heart revival is just a little easier to say. And, and like I as had mentioned before, uh, we, have, we have had people in our organization that have used this quite effectively to save people in a heart attack situation. Thanks, sorry. <laughs>